my favorite Ronald when I have a king. <laughs> I don't know if this is a good buff catcher though, so I'm gonna f Lost everything. No, not just go. No! I wanted to play heads up, man. We need running cards. We get a 6 man. Nice! Okay, let's go. 109,000 chips. That's really important. Really fucking important. People jamming 40 big points like it's nothing. <laughs> just 3 door tournaments, man. <laughs> Every single time. You enter a 3 door tournament and you, you, you just see this. Like, 2 big point race, 40 big point jump with Jack and go. Why not? Uh, we have queens in the big, in the three third scoop. Gonna three bet them and I'm yeah, gonna three bet. Kind of uh, sad that it's not a it's not a bounty builder because this is like the most amazing spot ever to get queens in. <laughs> this guy four big blind. This guy twenty big blind. Imagine these guys having two bounties. Yeah, nice and king eight. Ooh. Ugh! Fuck, I don't don't win against anyone. Here I'm squeezing with King Queen Spirit and get called. Okay. Kind of a kind of a dream flop for for squeezing. I'm gonna bet really small though, because it's more to A. I mean, I have top two pair. I have the first draw. Like, I'm, I'm gonna check. <laughs> it's too much. I have too much of the board. Okay, and now, now I river a river a fosh. What do I do here, guys? I block every. I I, I have everything on this board. <laughs> I guess I bet. I bet 10.5. <laughs> Trying to induce some raises, probably. At least I got them thinking, you know. There's <laughs> oh, nothing else. Well, I win. So unexpected. Okay, if I have pocket knives here, I'm gonna call. I'm gonna lead this. It's early position against third position three bad pot, so. So turn nines with a spade here into a buff, but not nines without a spade. Damn, he hit the ace, the, ace, uh, the jack on the on the turn. Pretty much all series aces from ace five to ace ten. Check raise, even more with quops. Okay, let me let me check uh, the the board again. So with quops, you check raise more. So without. Without a backdoor first row, you check check raise more. That's that's weird. That's something that only a solver can understand. <laughs> check raising more with with clubs. Okay. Yeah, I don't I don't understand why. I would guess that there are some king ten suited check raises, and eight eight nine eight and ten eight also. Okay, so 8-8 eight, eight check raises. I wouldn't guess that. I would probably call with 8-8 eight, eight because... Yeah, I already have a full house, like... Okay, that's interesting, inter interesting to see. And then all over pairs, yeah. <laughs> so 9s are clearly a check raise. Fuck. <laughs> okay, two people. <laughs> Saying something about the birds. Yeah, I'm I'm in the jungle, guys. <laughs> yeah, random animals, but I mean, Bulgaria is a jungle. You know, it's it's a really it's a really wild place. Why? 
is some squid playing the Eleven Door Revive. This guy is insanely good. For those of you that don't know, he's playing the top, top, top tournaments, one <laughs> case, five case, whatever. And he's playing the Eleven Door Revive as well. Okay, Ace is here. I'm gonna be raised. We get jumps. Sure, I'll take your stack, gladly. Oh, I'll take your stack as well, thank you, thank you guys. Ace Queen, tense, yes, yes, more chips for me. Three, seven, okay, that's good as well. Thank you very much for participating in my tournament. You can all go home now. So the video will play, thank you. Uh, advice for building a bankroll. That's an interesting one. Okay, so... First thing that I think of is be patient. Uh, it's really important to stick to, to good bankroll management rules and not punt off your bankroll in playing higher than you should. So stick to the rule of having 200 buy-ins. So if you play $5 tournaments, you're gonna need at least $1,000 bankroll. If you're playing tournaments, try to play uh, try to play tournaments with smaller fields, so when you're starting off, you're gonna have a small bankroll, you're gonna play small buying tournaments. It's not really worth it to play the 1000, 2000 player fields. Try to find tournaments that have like 100 and maybe 200, 300 players in them, because they're gonna have less variance. And yes, the payouts are gonna be uh, less significant when you reach a final table, but you're going to be able to reach final tables much more often which is going to allow you to practice your final table play and uh, smaller player, player fields as I said have less variance so you're going to be able to build your bankroll more gradually, you know, with little downswings and little upswings instead of swinging like this and potentially losing your bankroll because if you don't have a big enough bankroll maybe variance will hit you too hard and you just go down like this and you will, your bankroll will uh, bust, you you have no money left before you're able to reach an upswing. So yeah, this is probably the, the advice that I can give. Oh, I completed... Okay, so I haven't done this in a long while. I actually managed to complete my, my weekly poker challenge, which is gonna give me some rake back. Okay, let's, let's open the chest, guys. Let's see what we get. Completing the challenge. So, opening the chest and we get... $64 cash, wow! So, basically, I had nines in the big blind. This guy made it. So, we are, we are four spots of the money. This is really important to, to know. Otherwise, I wouldn't do this. This guy makes it three big blinds. You know, four spots of the money. He's kind of bad at the game, so I guess he's kind of honest in his range, so I think he's strong. But that doesn't change the fact that 9's here for 30 big blinds against the button, I will still go all in if the small blind falls. But now, considering that this guy is really strong, we're spot 4 spots of the money, and we also have this guy 3 banning him. So now it gets really intense. Like. This happening on the bubble, the chances of one of those guys bluffing get really... I mean, the, the chance of both of them bluffing get really low. And the hands that they're gonna use here to 3x and 3-bet with, I think are gonna be really nutted. So, even though in chip PV, 9's here probably a pure jump against a race from the button and a 3-bet from the small blind, I think, considering the, the ICM situation, yeah, considering how the how the situation is with with the ICM pressure and being four spots of the money, decided to fold nines. And in the end they had aces and kings. So really nice fold. Going for a bounce here. Thirteen dollar bounce against the Jack. Come on. Seven. Yes! Seven! Thirteen dollars man, finally. Ooh. Yes, Jax. Nice, good flop. Great turn. Man, that's 35 spots of the money. 
Oh, fuck. Yeah. Crushed all my dreams. Oh man, I gotta show you what I flopped in the, in the rounder scoop. <laughs> Okay, everybody for it here, that's amazing. So, flopping the, the absolute fucking nuts. I'm gonna go for a check raise. Okay. Um, we covered this guy, so... Plan is to bet turn and bet river. <laughs> 13, he's gonna have 25, 26 plus 20 is 46, 25 and 46. So I guess we bet like, like this. Jumps, recall, queens, he's dead, nice man. 858, 858, 20 dollars in bonds. Win? Oh, when, it, when did it get so late, man? When am I going to sleep? Probably never. <coughs> Probably when I die. Sleep only in the grave. Supposed to jump here as well. <laughs> here I'm. I'm more sure about this spot with this king. Against King Queen. <laughs> nice! Give him more queens, man. <laughs> what is too hard <laughs> now? So which one? Which ones are two day events? The only two day two day event is the one that that's on screen right now. This one here. Uh, other events will will we'll finish today. That's good, we don't want to have too many day 2s on Sunday, because we also want to play the, the Sunday tournament. The hyper it's getting kind of interesting because blinds really... I mean, what is this shit? Uh, blinds really increased, so everybody is kind of short, and we cover everybody, except this guy. So yeah, we can start playing for bounce now. Yeah, this guy go and get it again. <laughs> Just jamming 100 big blinds, that's his, his strategy the whole tournament. Yes, we made the money, now we have 6-8, that we're gonna, probably gonna have to go for. We already have half, uh, half our stack invested, so... <sighs> we're gonna go for 6-8. Already in the money, so no ICM pressure, let's go. He's king, 60%, I mean 40%, whatever. 6! That's it, we get a main cash. Ten. Yeah, this guy, he played good. Yeah, he just jumped the fork with top pair, I mean that's completely standard I think. He has less than 20 big blinds, so... When you hit top pair... <coughs> that's completely standard. <coughs> and the guy behind him just had a set of fleas. Yeah, very good open from this guy. Noticing that uh, noticing that this guy is probably tilted and using this to Owen with Ace 8 off and try to win his bounty. I mean really really cool play. Uh, uh, yeah this guy just got got lucky with content. But really good play by Felipe. Oh, man, it's so difficult to win flips. I guess I should go to sleep. And looks like we're not gonna win. Doesn't seem like it at least. So yeah guys, this will probably be the end of the stream. He had a really bad session today, I don't know why. In terms of um, in terms of winning uh, chips, winning all wins, we almost won none. The good thing though was that we actually didn't lose ma much money. Uh, we, we only lost 37 dollars and that's because the few always that we won, we won in, in single tournament.